Okay, so I came back and go to Falstaff circuit. Okay, to review the the switching transistor. Okay, click the circuits, then it should be blank. Okay, particularly in switching more than uh, two two LEDs or any output devices or load. So we choose this active components. There are diodes. Okay, we choose this bipolar NPN transistor. Okay. Okay, so we have the transistor then of course we had the uh, mechanical switch with the uh, with a with a resistor one kilo ohm resistor okay then where's my so under the passive components and the switch We're gonna connect it at the base, no? base of the transistor. Now let us say we have a one uh, battery source. So let's add a input source. So let us say a uh, a one voltage source, uh, a one terminal voltage source. Okay. Okay, so let us say that the 5 volts would be generating coming from the microcontroller, okay, particularly the Arduino, okay, so we're gonna add uh, a label, let's say, label, get okay, text, so let us say this is, uh, No, no, Arduino Uno or Nano, okay. This five volts is the output, no, the digital 13 pin no? output generating five volts. Now, this is uh, the switch, we'll, we'll just uh, in a simulate the controlling the digital 13 output of output pin of the Arduino one. Okay, so let's have LEDs. So LEDs. So take note. Okay. Okay, so say I want to have four LEDs. Okay, let's say the drug. Okay, so if you have a four LED, if you're going to connect it directly to five volts, it would hardly have uh, light, no? So, then we need the ground. Gonna add the ground here at the emitter. Okay. Then we're gonna add uh, additional uh, source, external source. So it will be a uh, okay. So let's try simulate run. Then click this one. Okay. So you notice that uh, this. There is a very small current. No? Oh, why is there? Ah. Oh. Ok, 
Okay, so let's continue. Oh, what is this? Okay, so run. You have to notice. Okay, so there is a very small current flowing. It's micro ampere. So one of the reasons is that the 5 volt source is unable to drive the LEDs. Okay, so based on the So let's try 6 volts, now increasing the supply. Okay, so there's already a small light dimming. Okay, increasing more, let's say, let's make it 8 volts. Okay, there you go. Oh. Okay, so 8 volts is still too strong, let's say 7.5. Okay, so then point five is strong. Let's say seven point oh, wow. How about seven? Okay, so seven is enough. Or let's say seven point two. Okay, so then you notice that the the lead now has ten milliamps. Okay, so we're going to program the the digital 13 of Arduino, no? So we're going to blink, make it blink. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, the idea here is the collector emitter. Okay, if you're going to notice, the collector emitter voltage becomes almost short circuit with a working voltage of 39.273 millivolts. When there is a base current. If you're going to turn off, there will be no base current. Then the collector emitter is 7.16. Okay, it's approximately an open circuit. The same with the source, almost. Okay, so that's the idea here. We need the collector emitter to keep switching on and off so that the, the LEDs here will be blinking. Okay. Actually, uh, you can still further uh, let's say let's say 3.3 volts. No? Let's, let's say if there will be amplification. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's still switching. Uh, let's try uh, 2 volts. If we're going to switch the uh, Okay, let's see. Okay, so able to switch. Okay, so this is a switching mechanism, no? With with uh, the concept of transistor as an amplifier or as a switch. No? From two volts, we we're able to control the seven point two volt switching voltage. Okay. Bye bye.